This presentation is brought to you by the Colorado Neurological Institute Movement Disorder Center. My name is Dr. Rajiv Kumar and I am the Medical Director of the Movement Disorders Program at the Colorado Neurological Institute. Parkinson's disease is characterized by a variety of motor and non-motor symptoms. This presentation will review the various motor symptoms that occur in Parkinson's disease. Motor symptoms vary significantly from patient to patient, but in general follow a fairly characteristic course. Symptoms generally begin on one side of the body and slowly spread to involve the other side of the body also. As the disease progresses, symptoms gradually worsen. Although this is the case, we have a number of excellent medications and other treatments which can help the various symptoms. The cardinal signs or primary signs of Parkinson's disease include tremor, which dominates at rest, bradykinesia or slowness of movements, rigidity or stiffness to passive movements of the neck, trunk, or limbs, and postural instability or reduced balance. These are the classic findings in patients with Parkinson's disease. Some patients may not exhibit all of these findings. About 80% of Parkinson's disease patients develop tremor. Although tremor is seen by the patient and the examiner, some patients also complain of internal tremor, which they feel others cannot appreciate. Tremor usually affects the arms, but can also affect the legs as well as the jaw. A commonly seen pattern of progression is that tremor begins in one hand and then spreads to the leg on the same side of the body before spreading to limbs on the other side of the body. In Parkinson's disease, tremor is typically seen at rest and improves when the limb is moved. Tremor is often worse when the individual is stressed or anxious. This patient demonstrates predominantly left-sided tremor at rest affecting the hands and feet. The tremor in the hands involves both fingers and the wrist. It is most prominent when the hands are at rest, but improves somewhat during action. Bradykinesia means slowness of movement. This is characterized by a slower reaction time as well as slow movement time. Speed of voluntary as well as automatic movements is reduced. Bradykinesia is present in all patients with Parkinson's disease and can drastically affect day-to-day -day activities. It can affect the limbs, causing reduction in speed of manual tasks such as eating. It can also affect the trunk, making gross movements such as arising from a chair or walking difficult. This patient demonstrates predominantly left-sided bradykinesia. Rapid alternating movements become progressively slower and smaller in amplitude with repetitive performance. Bradykinesia can also cause a reduction in facial expressiveness, a symptom commonly referred to as masked face. This is a sign of reduced automatic movement. Other forms of nonverbal communication, such as gesturing, may also be reduced. These features may give others the false impression of the patient being less interested or having reduced emotional range. Rigidity simply means stiffness of the muscles resulting in resistance to passive movements. This is commonly felt by the physician when the arms, legs, or neck are examined. When severe, there may be reduction in the range of movement. Rigidity is seen to some extent in all patients with Parkinson's disease. For some patients, it may contribute to discomfort and pain, with shoulder pain being the most common complaint. Postural instability is a reduction in balance characterized by a loss of ability to maintain an upright posture. Poor balance commonly develops as the disease progresses and can be a major source of disability and injury due to falls. Unfortunately, anti-Parkinson medication such as levodopa is less effective for postural instability than it is for either tremor or limb bradykinesia. The progressive reduction in balance can be the most disabling feature of Parkinson's disease. This can reduce independence because walking may be unsafe. This may result in a need for additional assistance with day-to-day -day activity and assisted living or nursing home placement. 
Postural instability may be clinically assessed by a pull test or a sharp pull to the shoulders. This patient recovers spontaneously with only one step backward. This second patient has more advanced Parkinson's disease and needs to be caught to prevent falling. Abnormal gait or manner of walking is a characteristic feature of Parkinson's disease. This may be evident even from the earliest time of diagnosis. Since Parkinson's disease is asymmetric, it is common to see reduction in swing of one arm, fixed posturing of the elbow, and dragging of one leg. As the disease progresses, smaller steps at slower speeds are characteristic. In many patients, the gait disorder may involve freezing. This is a phenomenon in which the feet seem to stick to the floor and it is difficult for the patient to initiate movement. Freezing commonly occurs when a patient is starting to walk after rising from sitting, when passing through doorways, or when turning. This patient takes slow shuffling steps and has trouble turning. She has flexed posture of the trunk and arms with reduced stride length and slow speed. Speech is commonly affected in Parkinson's disease and can significantly interfere with communication. Speech disorder associated with Parkinson's disease is sometimes referred to as dysarthia or hypophonia meaning that speech becomes softer and at times more rapid. Speech therapy using the Lee Silverman voice technique can sometimes be helpful in improving volume. Another common symptom is difficulty swallowing or dysphagia. This can result in the need to alter the diet and eat only softer foods. When dysphagia becomes severe, the patient may be at increased risk of developing pneumonia. Because automatic swallowing is often reduced, saliva may pool in the mouth, resulting in drooling. Small handwriting, or micrographia, is a characteristic feature. This is largely due to bradykinesia, or slowness, with reduction in amplitude of fine movements. Generally, there is increasing smallness of letters with prolonged handwriting. Motor symptoms occur in all patients with Parkinson's disease, but the specific symptoms can vary from patient to patient and can change as the disease progresses. Most symptoms become worse during either physical or emotional stress. Medications and also various non-pharmacologic therapies such as speech therapy and physical therapy can be helpful in managing the various symptoms. Levodopa is the gold standard or most effective medication for motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease and limb slowness or bradykinesia tends to respond best to this medication. Tremor can respond variably, sometimes less well, and as the disease progresses, midline symptoms such as trouble with speech or dysarthria and gait imbalance problems tend to become less levodopa responsive.